All right. Can you hear me now? Yes, sir. So I'm starting this all over. We want to write these numbers in index form or in standard form. The first one is just 3 because it's just like 3.0. And because there, is, there are no numbers, you know, there is no need of moving the point any step. Then it's just 3. Or we say 3 times 10 <laughs> Raise to power zero because we did not move our decimal point to any step. Is that clear? Yes, sir. But the second one is going to be 8.00. But we don't need the zero, zero. That is just times 10 raised to power two because the point has been shifted from the back of the last zero to the back of eight. Okay? Okay, sir. Good. And I think. If I check your work, I think that's what you did, right? Yes, right. sir. Good, good. So now, 4 times 10 raised to power 3. And technically, this is the same as this, because 10 raised to power 3 is 1,000. And 4 times 1,000 gives us 4,000. The same thing, 10 raised to power 2 is 100. And 100 times 8 gives us... 800. So we are not changing yeah. the value of the number. Okay, then the next one, this is 5.8. In the second and third question, we discarded all the zeros because zeros are non significant in standard form. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Now I'm discarding only one zero here. I have to, you know, retain the eight. So that is 5.8 times 10 raised to the power the number of steps 1, 2. So that is 2. Because we move it to the left, the power of 10 is positive. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Now, this is also going to be 5.835 times 10 raised to the power. It has a decimal, so we have, we have just moved it two steps. So that is still yeah. going to be two. And this other one is 8.2 times 10 raised to power, whatever it is, let's count one, two, three, four, five. That is five steps. Yeah. So it's just like we're multiplying 8.2 by 100,000 so that it can give us 820,000. And the last one is. 4.09 yeah. times yeah. 10 raised to power let's count it yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah. 6, 7, 8 so that is raised to power yeah. 8, right? can you hear me now? yes yeah, sir okay, raised to power 8, so I have to remove this so I'm going to check I think in the work you submitted it's only one you didn't get, right? Maybe no, this I think I zero. What did you say? Oh, okay, I'm not talking to you. Okay, okay. I said it's only one you didn't get, right? Yes, sir. Good, because this number one you thought well, 10 times 10, had it been it's 30, that would have been, you no, know, let's say we have 30. That would have been 3 times 10 raised to power 1, but we don't even need to put a 1, so it will now be 3 times 10. Is that clear? Okay. Sir. But all the rest, I think you have done a very good work there. And that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That is 6 out of 7, which is a very good math. Okay, we are going to continue shortly um, because we want to look at other types of, or let's, let's just continue straight away. We want to look at other types, okay? Okay, sir. Mm, you know, these are from uh, numbers greater than one to, this, to standard form. Now, we want to go for writing numbers that are less than one. Like 0 0.1 is less than 1, 0 0.5 is less than 1, 0 0.003 is less than 1. Is that clear? 
So all of those numbers, we can also write them in standard form. Okay, so we are still working on standard form. Standard form. The numbers less than what? Less than one, right? Yes, sir. Good. Numbers less than one. Less than one. Now to work to work with numbers less than one. Let's flash back to what we did during numbers greater than one. If you look at this, I'm coming. Okay, I'm gonna give you a few seconds. I'm back. All right. Yeah, yeah. Let's continue. So, if you look at this one, we wrote the we, we picked the first digit as our answer. Then we multiplied by ten. I will now consider how many times, how many steps we moved our point to the left. This case, we didn't move it at all. That is zero step at the top here, okay? Okay, sir. Then the second one, we pick eight and we write it, we multiply by 10. But because the point from back of zero has moved two steps to the left, that's why there's two steps here, okay? Okay, sir. Now, if it is a decimal number, we are going to move our point to the right so that we can have a digit, okay? Okay, sir. For example, let's say example, uh, example one. Let's see. Example one. If I have something like, you know, to write the numbers in standard form, is it right? The numbers, the numbers in standard form, in standard form. Okay, so writing numbers in standard form, the first one is 0 0.003. You can see this number is less than one, right? Yes, sir. Then I'll just pick the first non-zero digit, which is three. Is that clear? Yes. Sir. Then I will multiply it by ten. Then I will count the steps that I have taken my point. It's now at the back of three instead of at the front. Is that clear? So how many steps? One, two, three. That's three steps. But now it's going to be a negative step because it's a very small number that we have turned to be a big number. Okay, it's a very tiny number, right? Mm. Let's check another one. 0 0.00056. Can you see the next number? Yes, sir. 0 0.00056 is a very tiny number, yes or no? Yes, sir. You know, if it is... 0 0.9 this is a, this is bigger than this other one right right yes sir good good um what's happening to your video there nothing okay okay let's continue now 0 0.00056 i said you should pick the first non-zero digit what's the first non-zero digit that's five right Yes, sir. Good. Then point whatever remains, that's six. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Times 10 raised to power. Your point has been shifted from here all the way to this place, okay? Okay, sir. Now, how many steps? One, two, three, four. Again, it's going to be a negative step because it's a very tiny number that has become a bigger number. Is that clear? There's, you are not counting the six, right? Did you move it ahead of the six? No. Okay. You're counting the steps of the point. Where's the point now? After five, right? Yes, sir. Good. So count. One, okay, that number two, three, four. Can you see that, right? 
Okay, so. Good. There is nothing wrong with number one. Number one has a point and it's point zero. Is that clear? Sir, did you count the three? Hello. Did you see points before three in number one? No. Aha. Uh -huh. So where is the point after the three? Yes or no? Yes. But do we are we supposed to write it there? No. It doesn't make any difference, okay? Because there is no number after the three. Is that clear? Okay, sir. Good. But this other one, there is a six after the five. Yes or no? Yes, sir. That is why we needed to write the point. Okay? Yes, sir. Let's consider the third one. Zero point. Zero, zero, zero. Zero, 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 six. Can you see this number? Yes, sir. You know, it's just like the first one, right? Only the number of zeros are different, right? Yes, sir. So you try. What do you think I should write? Hmm. I'll pick the first non-zero digit, which is six, right? Yes, sir. Then I multiply by 10. My point is Nine. now here. Yeah. Yes or no, right? So let's count the steps. One, two, One, three, two. four, five, six, seven, eight. So is it going to be plus eight or minus eight? Minus eight. Good. Is that clear now? Yes, sir. All right. Number four. I want to try the fourth one. Let's say we have something like 0 0.0348. 0 0.0348. Eight, and I want to change it to standard form. All I'm going to do is to write the first non-zero digit. What's the first non-zero digit? Counting from left to right. What's the first digit? Um, the first digit. Okay. Counting from left to right, the first non-zero digit is what? Oh, left. Um, three. Say it again. There. Say the, the first non zero digit, non zero digit, digit that is not zero. Digit is three. Three, good. Then point the remaining numbers, right? Yes, sir. Times 10. How many steps have you moved your point? Three. Why three? This is one, two. It's after three. Yes or no? Right? Okay. The point was after this zero, but now it's after three. So that is two steps. Is that correct? Okay, sir. Will it be minus or plus? Of course, this is, this is a small number. It has become a big number. I told you, you must compensate. That's why it's negative, okay? Okay, sir. The ones we did above, we didn't put any negative there. Can you see them? Yes, sir. Simply because these are big numbers that have turned to become small number, then the power must be positive so that it can increase the value back, okay? Okay, sir. But when they are small numbers that return to become big numbers, then they must be negative power. Let's do another one before I give you some to do, okay? Okay, sir. Good, good. So the next one is going to be, um, let's say we have something like 0 0.000042. 0 0.000042. So, what do you think I should write? Tell me. <clears throat> we should write <clears throat> four. Yes, four. Mm -hmm. Point two. Point. Good, yes. Times ten. Good. Then. Rest of power um, what? I'll see. Count it, yeah, count it. Okay, sir. 
One, two, three, four, five. Is it positive five or negative five? Negative five. That's correct. Okay. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Are you happy now? <laughs> yes. Because I can see you frowning your face as if because you were not getting it, right? Okay, sir. Uh, uh, so write this down, then I will give you some to try. And you should be confident enough that you're going to get it again. Okay, sir. All right. I'm waiting. 